another, and they've had to uh... defending undisputed randomizer champion of the world, Macobra Fifty Two. How's it going, man? Hey, doing good. Glad to be here. Yeah, so this uh, we were kind of discussing this beforehand, but this is a really exciting matchup. I guess they've uh, played each other the last three years as well, so uh, it's kind of old hat at this point too. Yeah, so all, all three of our tournaments on Speed Gaming, they have they have crossed paths with each one another, and they've had to uh, knock one another out in order to advance. So here we are again. Um, this year, they're they're both undefeated in group play. They're both two and zero in bracket play. Completely undefeated. So tonight, unfortunately, we we'll have to send one home and one will advance to the semifinals. So in the meantime, yeah. So someone's gonna have at least two losses anyway, right? <laughs> Right, so in the meantime, go and get your guesses in. What world will we see first in this game one, the three here? Yeah, so I know, obviously, uh, I think most people are familiar with Mitch, who uh, is well known for his ability to drive a virtual desert bus. But uh, Pro A007 is also one of the best randomizer players in the entire world. Not a player that makes too many mistakes in terms of routing, that sort of stuff. So... Um, yeah, this should be really close. I'm really excited for this one. Um, and so we'll see what happens. Looks like we have World 7 start to start off here. So they find the last island, but unfortunately there's a lock in front of the castle, so they'll have to look for a fort here to beat. And it looks like Pro's already found one. And of course, 7F2 to start off. Ooh, man. Mitch just barely avoiding that cheap cheap, too. So both players kind of getting rough levels here uh, that you don't want to see right away. Yeah, I'm guessing Mitch sort of went, chose another pipe and started working his way in another direction. Yeah, it's going to be interesting to see if this is the Ford or not. Because, um, yeah, you might end up with a situation where both players do different Fords and one of them's right. So it'd be a 50 50 right off the bat here. Oh, okay, Mitch was just uh, working his way toward the castle, but he must have just saw the lock, so he's going back to... Uh, okay, he's going to follow the same path Crowley did. Okay, so yeah, he just beat that first level, and Crowley deciding to keep the power up here. Um, which, you know, is, is something that's pretty good, I guess, early on in the randomizer when you don't have much inventory on it. You know, a lot of times you'll see people damage boost in that room um, just because it saves a pretty significant amount of time. And, oh, Mitch actually getting unfortunate there and uh, looks like he hit the A-press uh, right at the last possible moment he could still flutter. So, uh, unfortunate death there. Oh, man, the flutter is shame right there. Um, it's unfortunate. Yeah. Yeah, it's interesting. You see that happen to people fairly uh, regularly, actually. I kind of have this theory about it, and it's kind of tinfoil hat, but uh, you know how when you jump with P-Speed and you do a frame-perfect jump, it still considers you in the air and you keep P-Speed? Well, I think that might be happening with the tail, too, so you actually flutter when you should be on the ground. Oh, yeah. Meanwhile, Pro is, um, apparently the 7F2 was not the correct port, so now he's found his way to 7F1, how appropriate. Yeah, so a uh, nice little fret uh, coming out here, huh? Yep, uh, he gets his sneaky speed on, he's gonna fly his way up to the pipe here. Big on Bim Bim, you is just gonna send that too. So yeah, see, it, they both saw that the, the wrong lock was broken in there, so they know that they have to keep searching, and fortunately Mitch finds the right path as well, so he's right behind the pro way here. He has to do double power up too, though, just just like he did. Yeah, so it's kind of interesting. The uh, decision to keep the power up for Pro A actually saved him. He lost a bunch of time in the bottom section of 7F2, but he saved more time, I think, in 7F1, not having to grab this like we see Mitch having to do here. So, um, got a little bit of an advantage there, but it's still fairly close because he's got to play this level. Um, and uh, A2 is not pleasant when you have a cheap sheet. Yeah, getting the getting some of the rougher levels early on here of eight two, man. We have a cheap cheat to boot, which uh, he, he's he's arguably more annoying the boss fast. So he can sort of respawn on you if he, he gets too far off the screen there, like just like we saw Crowley there. 
Yeah, that's a good point. You can see Pro A purposely uh, trying to avoid the ground, knowing he's going to be respawning fairly soon. So, uh, slight advantage here going to Pro A, probably, I don't know, 15, 20 seconds or so. But we're still early, so a lot of randomizer left here. Yeah, we see Pro into free four here, and forcing he avoids the uh, that uh, water area. Heck, he did. Kind of annoying there, but he's able to fly over that pretty well there. Maybe his way down to the end here. No problem at all. Yeah, that's a good point. It's almost better to have tail in that level, just because if you get a blooper there, it's going to create so much lag. A lot of times, your inputs aren't going to go through anyway, so... Yeah, so yeah, getting the uh, Piranha stage, which this stage can be kind of evil depending on what enemy you get at the end there. I've actually gotten a Patui there, and uh, it was basically unpassable. <laughs> yeah, we had the World Tier ship on Pro's side. He's able to get PSP and fly over the mass in the center, which, is, which does save a bit of time there. Very nice. Uh, Mitch does not have a tail, so he will not be able to take advantage of that. But uh, not a huge, not a huge time loss gain, but let's say a little bit. Yeah, that's a good point. Uh, Mitch could check the power block though, and uh, maybe he'll get a flower or something that'll uh, allow him to save more time. So, but yeah, Pro A had a pretty good world here. Um, I don't think he took any deaths, despite uh, and of course it's a star because it's the uh, the randomizer special. That's right. Whenever, it ten, ten, whenever you don't want a star, it tends to be a star. I noticed that too. <laughs> <laughs> what, you don't like fighting Wendy small only with no inventory? <laughs> speaking of... <laughs> yeah, speaking of Wendy, here we are world free here. We got one pipe right away to check in here, and... Looks like we got another pipe route for that. We're gonna keep going down here, and okay. So the correct pipe's in the middle right there, and it's blocked off by two locks. So Pro's gonna work his way down to the floor on the right side, and hopefully that breaks the correct lock. That yeah, that's the axis here. It's kind of a nice configuration here to World 3 when you get that pipe right away. Uh, sometimes you have to play five levels before you can do anything, so um, at least getting the pipe right away will save him some time. And Mitch is going right for the level, actually. Um, so save a little time here on the pipe transition, actually. But he doesn't realize it, of course. Yeah, he, he must be at least behind with that 7F2 death, so he, he might be taking a gamble here to um, not check the pipes and uh, instead just play towards the set fort there. Anyway, I got Pro here in Super Tanks. Uh, don't get item here, but it is, it is clear to fort, so that will break a lock here. We'll see which one it does shortly. Yeah, you're really hoping that... Uh, it's And it is that one, so that's uh, good news for them. So actually, just two levels here are going to be required for this world, and they'll be able to go right to the airship. So, uh, pretty nice, uh, world setup for World 3 can usually, or not usually, I mean, sometimes it can be kind of brutal. I mean, I, I feel like on most of the time it's fairly brutal, actually. Yeah, I wonder if Mitch is going to go back and check that pipe he skipped over, or he's just going to follow the breadcrumb right there to, to that lock that broke. I imagine he'll, he'll follow that Oh, direction. he did? He did actually go back and check the pipe to the right, so he does know um, which pipe is which at this point, I think. Oh, and Wendy's five hits. All right. Well, five hits, uh, no Quake Wendy, which I, I think is actually harder than the uh, the Quake version, so uh, not being kind to the runners early. Yeah, especially on this airship, too, with all the different like, levels of the, of the train there. And where you see, uh, you see how Mitch does. Two hits on Mitch's end. Got the free. There's four, and looks like he's gonna get through there and skate. Very nice. Yeah, he uh, took a really good pattern there. Um, that's pretty much the best way to do that fight. I find in my experience, you'll always avoid that um, that ring there. And we see Proe using his cloud. I think uh, just uh, you know, it gets a free pipe check, so figures why not. 
and uh, it's a pretty good strategy, I'd say. Some people like to hang on to him just in case they draw some bad levels, but uh, we'll see what Mitch decides to do here as well. Yeah, that's what I tend to do, you know, because you, you never know when, like, Lannis or something else is going to come up that you definitely want to skip, you know? <laughs> you, in, I tend yeah, to for sure. Levels before I uh, commit to using a cloud or not. So. Ooh, gets a hand stage. So actually, Mitch gonna get an item here. So it'll be interesting to see what he actually gets from this stage. Um, if it's something like a hammer, this could uh, be a gigantic swing actually here. Yeah, hammer cloud would be awesome. <laughs> uh, of course, this is a star <laughs> though. <laughs> nice. So Mitch gonna be able to skip the hammer bro though, and uh, that did only give a P wing. So oh, deciding to fight it, I think not a bad decision just because it could potentially be a hammer. Um, I know there are a lot of runners that believe in uh, fighting hammer bros early on for this reason, but uh, looking like our runners are not gonna get lucky here with a hammer because I think that would save a pretty significant amount of time in this world if they could find one. Yeah, I was about to ask if, uh, if the one behind the boulder there, the, the pipe there, was uh, the one that would save some significant time. It seems like it does in this game. Yeah, I, I, I haven't seen the other pipe yet, and we know those two pipes led to each other, so... Yeah, so Fro might... Yep, he is gonna go... He's gonna go fight these hammer bros, see if he can get himself a hammer here and save some time. Of course, another star. <laughs> and uh, Mitch getting Marathon there, choosing to use the star he just obtained, which is just kind of a good safety measure to do. And the other hammer bro looks to be a mushroom, so yeah, we're not getting hammers here. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Um, so we, we, got, we got a bit of a long haul for World 6, but uh, yeah, we'll see what we get here. Starting off free up one. In infamous for the door free trick. I don't think either one's going to go for it. So yeah, Pro's gonna stop at door five here. Unfortunately, just a one up, so not much help there. Ooh, the fish almost got him, but that's why I like to jump as soon as I go for that door, because <laughs> you might be lurking right there. Yeah, as long as you just kind of do the the vanilla strats, you're pretty fine. So, but it it looks really scary. <laughs> So yeah, it's a good point. Mitch still has a cloud, so um, not as behind as he appears, and uh, is going to save some time by skipping that hammer bro as well. And if he doesn't go for door five here, he should also save a bit of time. Yeah, it makes quick work free of one right there. Meanwhile, Pro is in five five two here, and uh, no nothing too trolly right here. He tends tends to not be just do the normal developing. And the way. Yeah, kind of unfortunate you can't do the slide strats in that level, which you see in vanilla just because, you know, you move at slide speed and it's the fastest way to move, but yeah. And ooh, getting the cheap cheap right there. Sometimes that guy can get in your way, so um, kind of fortunate that uh, he spawned in such a way that allowed Mitch free passage. And uh, we see 5-8 on um, Pro A side, and Honestly, this is a stage where there is a, a randomizer specific speed strat for, um, but Pro A actually making pretty easy work of the stage without uh, the P speed, which is uh, impressive actually. Yeah, that's actually Nintendo Power that was like, you cannot be a soul at taking a hit, and <laughs> time and time again we proved him wrong. Right? <laughs> and we see a little route divergence here, Mitch deciding to do 5 6, and yeah. Understanding that uh, that para beetle he needs is going to be despawned and uh, doing the quick turn back there, so um, a little bit of a trolley stage in that regard. And uh, Proe having fire for Lemmy is going to be a huge a boost for him because Lemmy's kind of one of these annoying Koopalings I find a randomizer. Personally, I find him more difficult than Wendy if he's five hits, just it, the way the. Uh, the beach balls move um, in the arena can be very frustrating in uneven stages. So, um, yeah, being able to, to fire kill him there is a pretty significant time save, I would think. Yeah, Mio, Mitch, Mitch is in fight now, and you know, probably could do the same thing, fireball strats. 
Yeah, he'll just stomp out of the line. Oh, and he's only one hit. (laughs) Of course. (laughs) Yeah, I... Isn't that interesting? I find that more often than not, you go into a world with... Or you go into an airship with fire, and then he's just one hit. And I... (laughs) And it's like, man, you know, I wanted to use this. I had the perfect power for this, and nope. Yeah, usually I don't 100% commit to a fire kill without at least one stomp and see, just having to see if it's a one hitter or not. Um, but if not, yeah, if I can, I try and fire kill. Yeah, it's a pretty good strategy, I think, for most Koopalings. Maybe Wendy, not so much, just the nature of how she functions. And uh, we see a little route divergence here, too. Mitch getting 3 2, Croe getting 2 um, 2 there. Uh, so I think 3 2 should be a little quicker. So Mitch should pick up a little bit of time here. He did have to do a little extra with Road Movement, though. So um, we'll see what happens here. And with the fire that he still has, he has some potential here in. Um, a uh, four two to do some despawn strats as well. Yeah, so we got priority in the four, just as much as you need to lowly just be four two here. And it's four to two. Um be able to make uh, as long as he can get through, you know, if I take a hit, it should be alright. Pretty pretty easy with the tail. Um you like, you like to see the speed strat, so, but, <laughs> fortunately, can't quite work out. Yeah. I mean, I don't know, it's just kind of the nature of the way Pro A plays. He's just uh, pretty steady. I, he hasn't really made too many mistakes here. I think it was just the Wendy fight, and uh, since then, he really hasn't taken damage at all. Yeah, but now we have one, two, with Chief Chief. Um, Four two one one, how appropriate. <laughs> yeah, he's gonna stick to the top here, and uh, didn't get a fire flower. Interesting. But yeah, he's gonna make work with that work at that stage. So we're we're still relatively one one stage apart here, so it's still relatively close. Yeah, uh, Mitch closing the gap a little bit here, um, and he still does have that cloud, so... Oh, and, and it's gonna come in useful in the very next stage. So yeah, I, I would anticipate Mitch is gonna take a, an intentional death here and actually cloud this one, so... Oh yeah, for sure. Uh, yeah, you definitely want to cloud 6-6 six, six if you can. It's, it's, you know, oh, he doesn't side. even it's, know. It's cool. Oh, well. <laughs> <laughs> the line cloud for Mitch, nice. <laughs> yeah, really good play there. Able to combo there um, with the music box to skip the hammer bro and the level. So um, sometimes in that situation, uh, I like to keep the hammer bro awake just because most of the time it's just a, a free safety uh, victory, I guess. But uh, yeah, since he had the P wings, he just P winged the airship, and uh, you know, Larry's not going to give him any problem here. And he gets the off-screen grab, so he'll save some nice time here on the cutscene. About four seconds. Very nice. You know, Pro's gonna fight the hammer, bro. We'll see what kind of item he gets here. Oh, it is a hammer. Did Mitch, did Mitch actually fight him? No, Mitch skipped that hammer, bro. So, um, a little unfortunate luck for Mitch, but he did skip 6-6 six, six there, so we'll see. This hammer's not always useful in World 2, but uh, if uh, he gets maximum usage out of it, he can skip as many as four levels, so... Or not two in World 2, I mean, not 2-2. Two, two. Yeah, so that can be huge for Pro A. We have to see what the layout of World 2 looks like and see if the hammer comes advantageous or not to use. Yeah, and we'll see, you know, if... Um, you know, Mitch doesn't get another hammer from something else too. Basically, they're kind of at the point if if uh, there's another hammer in the seat, it's not particularly useful. It could be in World Four here, but probably not. And unfortunately, that fort at the start does not break the that does not build a bridge for Mitch, so he'll have to search for another fort to play. But it looks like he's found one, but unfortunately, at the very start of World Four, so looks like we may have a long trek ahead of us. Yeah, it looks like all the levels being required here, and of, of course I say that, and uh, potentially that hammer would actually be useful in this World 4, but uh, kind of a risk since you're not going to get to see what's going on at the end of the world. 
um, until you beat, or until you beat that level before the fortress anyway, so. So yeah, Pro A playing uh, 5F1, which is honestly probably my least favorite fortress in Randomizer, just the way these uh, Roto Discs move generally, they're not very kind to the runner. Yeah, because Randomizer does change the directions of, of the disc waffles at times, so um, yeah. I have to watch out every now and then, unfortunately. Yeah, it always seems like that last one rotates in such a way that uh, you're not getting by it, so... Yeah, Mitch H -tier. some P-Speed here. Yeah, getting the Very H jump. Nice, nice, nice grab. Dodge the angry sun and finishes off in style. Very nice. So Pro A stopping to get a power up in 5F2, uh, or 5, yeah, 5F2. Normally you don't really see that, um, but didn't have P-Speed at the beginning there, taking it a little on the safer side, but uh, he understands that as long as you keep moving forward in this level, you know, most of the stuff just kind of gets out of your way. Oh, nice, nice job, Mitch, uh, fluttering down to the uh, donut blocks there. Yeah, thankfully had a tail there. <laughs> Looked a little scary. <laughs> He's in the music box, puts all the bros to sleep, and he is on his way. In the end of world of five here, but not over four. Yeah, that's a fantastic usage. Uh, maximum value there, skipping three hammer bros. Bro going back to check if that built the bridge, and I believe I believe that one did. So he's just gonna play onward here. I would have probably not went back to check to be honest, and just uh, <laughs> played onward. And I would have seen eventually if it did. Well, he does have the hammer here, so uh, that tells me he's probably gonna choose to use it actually. Um, a lot of runners feeling that if you have an opportunity to skip a level with the hammer, you kind of have to choose to do it, um, which makes some degree of sense. There it seems like there's a lot of configurations that the hammers end up not being particularly useful in bracket seeds. That is true. We, we, we do start World 2 on the table, though, correct? Yeah, that is correct. Um, so yeah, it's... But yeah, based on that decision, it kind of makes me think that he's going to use it here. We'll see, though. Yep, sure enough. It does go with the hammer, okay. Maybe he's hoping for another one from the princess, maybe? Yeah. yeah, deciding to fight this hammer, bro. Um, skip the other two, though, and gets a few wings, so probably not what he's looking for. Probably looking to replace his hammer. Make Mitch makes good work six, six nine right there. Unfortunately, does not get the uh, wall jump, and I, I don't know how difficult it is with the tail. I'm sure it's I'm sure it's pretty hard to pull off there, but <laughs> yeah. Unfortunately, I, do I mean I. Yeah, I think I've seen people like clip in there, but I mean <laughs> it's kind of a joke to even attempt it. Your speeds, your yeah, your speeds so slow that the odds of you clipping in is astronomically low. Yeah, it's currently about a two level difference between Pro and Mitch right now. Um, okay, Mitch, Mitch has found the Paradox Pike. Look, well, a bit of a paradox. It's still, you're still on the ground, technically. <laughs> yeah, and uh, on the unfortunate truth coming out here, kind of what I expected, right? It has to be that going. Oh, Mitch getting a hammer, so um, Pro A is probably going to end up fighting that hammer, bro. I don't see any way he wouldn't, so um, actually ends up making a really good decision using that hammer in World 4. Yeah, with the lock in the way, I, th I think you'll have to fight it unless uh, it maneuvers itself over, like, past the pipe or something. Which I'm not sure it's possible. Yeah. I guess he does have a music box, but, you know, I don't think he'll probably use it. So 
the blue floor was free up too. Kind of, kind of appropriate there. <laughs> right? <laughs> this blue fort is underwater. Wow. Nice. So yeah, that, that definitely broke the lock. So this this, little, this looks like two fort wolf five here. So once we get to the sky, we should we shouldn't have anything else to uh, break or build. Interesting. He chose to fight that hammer, bro. Um, I guess he just didn't want him running away over the levels, and also, um, I think they're looking for a Bowser item still at this point. And wow, World Five is gonna be very rude here. <laughs> wow, they have, a, they have a grind to say the least. But this, I, I can't afford levels to the castle. Yeah. So what? They skipped. They're gonna end up skipping three levels <laughs> in World Five. Oof. It looks like Mitch is going for peace in here in order to clip the, uh, yeah, this section over here. Let's see if he gets it. Yeah, he tends to go for this. Um, oh, clipping in there, unfortunately. It's probably the first time I've seen him all tournament where that happened to him, so he's had pretty good success with that. Um, strangely enough, it's generally a time save just based on... You already see it. The enemies you get at the end here are kind of trolly, and you gotta end up going back and forth, so. Yeah, I wonder if that's as hard as it looks, you know, maintain the peace being that tiny room there. <laughs> uh, it's it's not, yeah, it's not easy. It, it's it's kind of, it's got a weird uh, maintenance, I guess, that you gotta do to it. Um, and Pro A actually deciding to skip the levels and play the fortress instead, so. Um, unfortunately, does not draw one of the shorter fortresses. Yeah, six F one versus six five. Uh, both of those are kind of long, long game. I don't know. I don't know which one I would pick. Honestly, I think he got the better level here, but uh, yeah, it's not. It's not the advantage he was probably hoping for, right? Probably hoping to get something like navy. Yeah. So yeah, we're gonna see Mitch do maybe go for the tunnel here, and he does go Gets for it and tunnel. does get nice. it. So yeah, awesome. Um, taking the damage boost in order to go for the tunnel, very cool. You know, it's the first time I've seen the tunnel done in randomizer. Yeah, it's interesting. I think it's easier in uh, a couple instances. Um, unfortunately, that one was the most difficult, and uh, he just did it perfect, so it didn't matter. <laughs> Very nice, and we got it. We got free eight here with Dangry Sun. There, there's a monographical thing that happens. It makes him look kind of like a, like a golden boss pass, which is kind of funny. But yeah, it's, it's Dangry Sun in and out, so. Yeah, that uh, that stage, pretty easy randomizer stage, can almost always do it vanilla. I, there's really only one spot you worry about the enemy, and that's the underwater enemy. Uh, I mean, well, the stage is generally underwater when you get there anyway. Um, but yeah, outside of that, it's a pretty uh, gentle stage, I would say. Yeah, Mitch grabbing the wand around about 27.05 there. It's gonna make his way to world seven here, which uh let's see, what haven't we seen yet? World two, that's right. And they both get over hammers yeah. to uh, skip it. Skip that break that rock if you need it. Yeah, that's a good point. Twenty seven minutes out of six worlds, pretty uh slow pace, I would say. <laughs> Um, I'm kind of interested to see what either one of them thinks where they're at. Uh, Pro A has played really well. Um, I don't think he's taken any deaths at all, actually. But uh, Mitch, just since he took that early death, has really um, played very clean. Yeah, it gets a second try, seven one clip. Very nice on Mitch's side. Yeah, we have a lot behind the pipe right there, so more than likely, I'm guessing a 2 Fort World 2. You know, hard to tell from here until we see the other side of the screen, but that's what it's looking like. Oh man, Mitch did not want to take damage there. Oof, okay. He makes a pass. Yeah, 7-8, not a level you like seeing in Randomizer, and he's going to take the pipe. Yeah, sure. 
I mean, you see the boss bass, you take the pipe. It's it's math. Yeah, I almost always take the pipe here. It's, it's, it's definitely a safe way to go. You get a free item out of it, and you know, you're pretty much near the end of the level. Yeah, I think the only time I wouldn't is if, um, you know, there wasn't a bass, which that level always seems to have a bass. And Pro gets second try with the tail, which is even harder than without, so very, very nice for him. Yeah, um, we'll see what Mitch decides to do here. Um, he could get the item. Uh, I wouldn't suggest it because we don't really know... Um, what's going on in this world um, and he is going to do it actually I guess he does have the hammer so um, maybe it won't won't matter any unless there's just another fort hiding on the other side of the screen which I haven't taken track of the fort count so I have no idea and sure enough so um, actually it saves them a bit of time in that level and uh, um, yeah saves a little extra time by hammering instead yeah just a one fort world two here so um him using the hammer right off the bat there to skip skip all the way to the uh what where, where the pyramid normally is now it's seven nine not not a level you want to see in randomizer because it's kind of tedious with maze and whatnot yeah this is going to do this normal way here now yeah, pros not to one fort we'll see if he goes for him or not looks like he's debating on it but you know he's going to play it normally yeah, if, if you're not, yeah, if you're not taking uh, track of the uh, fort count, then uh, definitely it's a risk um, when you don't see the entire world to uh, get the item here. Oh, so apparently Pro does not have his hammer. Hmm. Interesting. So he must have music box then. Huh. In world uh, five, I actually missed that. Okay. Makes makes yeah. some sense. Yeah, so he he did uh he did make the right play by by uh, playing the fort normally and, and getting that pipe open to uh shorten shorten the uh path here. But yes, this is still anyone's game. We, get, we still have the Great Equalizer World 8 to go, so uh, go and get your guesses in. How many bridges will it take to, to, to uh, find our way to Bowser here? Is it 0, 1, 2, or 3? 9,001. So we see all three forts on the opening screen and well, one pipe. I, so. I would not be surprised if Mitch just beats all three just to get him out of the way. I mean, pro's feeling behind. Yeah. He could just beat one or two and, and start exploring from there and see if he gets lucky. Yeah, this is set up really well for Mitch. Um, he should definitely play all of them, and uh, I kind of anticipate he will. I actually think both will um, at this point. Um, just, yeah... It, when you see this, you don't want to ever have to go back here. This is... Uh, sometimes in World 8 you want to gamble, but this gamble is never going to pay off. Like, <laughs> I think it's like 0% chance, really. Yeah, and gets the one cycle. Very nice for Mitch. A uh, bit, bit tougher than, than it is in Vanilla. Definitely with the random enemies and whatnot. But uh, it's done. And without taking a hit, nonetheless. And was this the actual Air Force stage? <laughs> Is that a bread? Oh, not, I guess not. Was like nah, it was, this was 8 Fort, and then the tank was 8 Fort, and then maybe... Oh, and this is 2 Fort, okay. Speaking of Navy, we haven't, we haven't seen Navy yet. Oh yeah, we did, didn't we? Or did we? Uh, I don't recall Navy. Oh, so Mitch only doing two stages there, so that's kind of interesting. Um... So we see the last fort there, um, and there's a uh, bunch we got, of hand, we got hand, we got hand so. across. So this this could come into play as well, the whether you get grabbed or not. Yeah, um, and so they've done different forts here. Uh, this is really interesting. <laughs> It's, 
yeah, the I guess the the time, the current time, and the early deaths really um, making Mitch think like he's behind. I guess. Um, yeah. So yeah, this pipe should bring us out of the dark. I haven't seen any pipes. The, the hand bridge got to look crazy. Yeah, I was going to say. And, oh, finding out that two fort um, is going to be probably the one, I guess. Well, might be potentially one. Of and speaking of, I guess, we have speaking the Force Speed Navy. <laughs> Raid Cell 7C, yes indeed. Pro, not quite getting the one cycle, so he's going to be uh... He grabs a star, but unfortunately, because he is big Mario, he's not gonna. Go, I don't think he's gonna go to get the uh, four of gear. So close, but not quite. So nothing broke on the dark screen there. So Mitch is gonna go back and see if it broke that lock, and it did not. So um, yeah, we'll see what he does. Uh, I think he forgot what was on the first screen, or in what he'd already played, so this is, uh... probably has got a shot here, actually. Um, this is not a quick stage. I guess he's also looking at the potential of a pipe behind this level, so... Um, kind of interesting to me that he, uh, didn't decide to go back and play the last board on the first screen. Yeah, he did, he did beat the hand, so, um... He wouldn't have to worry about that, dodging the hand again. So yeah, it all comes down to, um, all right, well, he doesn't get pulled out, and they both got pulled in by that one. So yeah, it all comes down to whether or not the pipe is behind this tank here. Yeah, I believe it's the only way forward here, so I think, I think Mitch may have it right. It's just a matter of if that, uh, that final four on the first screen was acquired or not. Yeah, we'll see where this, you know, maybe even on the hand bridge. Yeah, I'd anticipate this bring, goes to the hand bridge. Um, I think he's, he's kind of confused here. Uh, he might have forgot where that fort was, to be honest. Yeah, me and my pro can get past because he did beat that fort. We'll see where this leads. Oh, okay. boy. Um, and, oh, oh. wow. Okay. The one for the for but the other beat. pipe, but oh, there is. But the other pipe. This has got to be the pipe. We've seen all the other pipes. Yeah, sure oh, enough. Oh, there it is. So there were no bridges technically required. So, ladies and gentlemen, this is pro's race to lose at this point. Um, Mitch is Mitch is about to clear the one fort that he needs, but pro's already in Bowser's castle with a fire flower. We'll see if he can keep it here. So the gap is fine. He's going for the clip. He went for it once, but he's going top half. Now, if Mitch has yeah, the fire flower, he can get that clip done. Oh. Top half. Very nice to see. So, pros race to lose at this point. Let's see if he get the fire kill done. Taking it safe here. Um, not going to have an issue here since he's taking it safe, I think. We'll see. There we go. Takes care of Bowser, and that that is GG. Get your GGs in, in for Pro A007. He's gonna finish uh, game one tonight. We get the official SR time shortly here. Looks so like the time is 37 minutes and 39 seconds. GG. Very close race, all things considered. Once, once again, decided by the Great Equalizer, World 8 there. Yeah, I, I have to imagine Mitch felt like he was behind. Because, um, yeah, or there's or he just didn't see the Fortress. It's the only things I can think of there. Because um, normally, I think if he's ahead, he'd probably just play it fairly conservatively. So. Yeah, that, that 7 2 death early could, could have made a difference here, actually. Yeah, pretty close, honestly. Yeah, so Mitch is now in the Bowser fight. He's small Mario, though, so he's going to have to wait for him to uh, crush the floor here. 
And for those I need to Mario Free, yeah, as you can see, Bowser's hitbox only in his head, so uh, don't you probably getting crushed uh, below him there. Yep, showing off his hitbox here. And down goes Bowser. Get your GGs out for Mitch Firepower. Very, very tight race once again. Just, just uh, got the word eight luck and several other factors involved. But yeah, he finishes the SRL time of 39 minutes and 15 seconds. GGs. There's back with game two of this exciting matchup. And kind of what you'd expect, right? Uh, Pro A on, on his side, just. Uh pretty steady there doesn't make too many mistakes in terms of routing which is what you come to expect and then on mitch's side uh pull off some incredible execution to uh allow him to come back into that one yeah once again coming into world eight but uh yeah it's all in ball game now so go and get your guesses in what world will we see first in this game two of potentially three games Yeah, that's that's really big for Pro A to take the first game. I think uh, for him, uh, I think it's really hard going down 1-0 to Mitch, maybe more so than anybody, uh, just because, I mean, you're playing Mitch, there's a little bit of intimidation, right? He, he's the best player uh, out of Mario 3. Um, you know, obviously, Randomizer does equal that playing field a significant amount, you know, and, and experience is really important with it. But, yeah, you still, uh, it's, it's not a pleasant feeling to be down 1-0 for sure <laughs> yeah i know that feeling looks like we have more five to start here and of course we're swimming in 3f2 to start off not blue though <laughs> Yeah, from the looks of it, this will build our bridge to the other side here, and um, from there, I think it'll, it'll take a pipe to the sky. Let's we'll see, we'll see what kind of situation we have here. So yeah, we see Proe again choosing to stop and get the power up, losing a little bit of time here in order to do so, but uh, I'm really a believer in safe passage through these stages, because you know what's slow, guys? Taking deaths. It's really slow, I can tell you. And uh, wow, what a configuration. <laughs> yeah, so the, oh, that, that's the one they want to take. So that does bring him closer. So that, that's good. Got a fastball five right there. Mitchell was a very slight lead, but Pro, Pro does, have a, does, he, does have a use mushroom. He might get yeah, any stop and grab that. It's a fire flower, so. And Roy is a high yeah. jumper. Oof. Just the one hitter, though. Yeah, Mitch was out of there in like 124, so I mean, just the dream set up here for World 5. So yeah, I think about 10 seconds or so between the two right now. Yeah, so uh, go and get your guests in now with what, which world's coming next. Um, pretty much any levels, any world except 8 and 5 now. Ooh, um, this is the kind of configuration in World 1 that actually, uh, if this turns out to be a specific way, you can actually end up playing all the levels here. So we could see the complete opposite in World 1, depending on which fort breaks which lock. Yeah, they're hoping the fort up the top, at the top right there breaks, breaks either one of those locks that are direct, that are direct access to, um... If not, they'll, they'll be in. They'll be in for a treat there. We, I think we like to dub that the scenic port, the scenic route now in World One. <laughs> if, we just, if we don't go all the way around, like. So yeah, this port's gonna be the Navy stage. So uh, nothing too, uh, nothing too difficult there. Yeah, this is pretty much just get P-Speed and go. 
Uh, I'm probably going to save a little bit of time getting the fire kill here, so get him back in it a little bit here. And, uh, okay, so they are fortunate here in that that is the best lock that could have been broken. Right, so the rest of the, rest of the way is clear and we're one here. It's just a matter of, uh, got one more port in the way, but not, not directly, in, you know, as far as the lock goes or whatnot. But, yeah, they'll be on their way out of here shortly. Yeah, pretty good start. You know, they did have to play the two levels up top, but four four levels in World One's not too bad. It's pretty average, three or four, I would say. Um, sometimes you get really fortunate and you only have to play two, but uh, seems more often than not you're playing a couple levels here, a couple extra ones. Yeah, we have six not or seven nine next rather, and um, Mitch, Mitch got a tail, but he, he didn't fly up the. Uh... The uh, left side there, like as your pro is going for it. Um, probably doesn't save time, you know, after after spending that time debating. But uh, usually, usually have a better time. Than yeah. Just, uh, up there. Yeah, I think the bass was giving them the baby bass, giving them a little trouble here, <laughs> trying to get out of its way and uh, take him out before he decided to fly to the left. Yeah, that's true. Ooh, that Koopa going right through the platforms. Koopas, Paracoopas, they don't care about walls and ceilings and platforms. They just fly right through them. Amber drops a P-Wing. Let's see, let's see if that comes in handy here. Oh, if Pro uses this, he can, uh, he can make skill work out of War 6 airship here. Yeah, I don't think he will just because he's got a tail, but uh, um, he might. Oh, he's gonna he's gonna go onward. There actually is a strat you can use to uh, get P speed early on and you know, fly over the mass and whatnot. I've, I've used it at times, but uh, yeah, if you, if you can nail that strat, it's, it's awesome. But uh, I don't see too many runners go for it. Yeah, interesting that both deciding to keep their tail for this. Um, there is potential for the off-screen grab, of course, um, but you could always damage boost through those um, flamethrowers there and save a little bit of time, too, because there's another power block, and generally it's something, anyway. Yeah, these two runners still have been 10 seconds of one another, so it's, it's still a pretty close matchup here. Okay, Kenny. <laughs> anyway. Uh, interesting configuration here. Um, I get this feeling they'll probably both check the pipe because you kind of have to. And Mitch choosing the damage boost here so he can keep P speed through this stage. Um, nice job avoiding that fire chomp at the end there. But uh, when you see two forts in World 2, generally um, there's a lock in either direction. So. <laughs> Yeah, two for world two here. Um, Mitch is gonna take the pipe and see see what he uh, sees on the other side here. And there is a lock directly in the way. Um, he does have a hammer. He's considering what he's gonna do here, he's gonna go back. Cause yeah, there's only one there's only one level to uh, get to the fort in the middle right there. So probably the better option there. Yeah. And ends up with a fort. This is a fort 50-50 as well, so um, this could be a really significant time swing if one player uh, chooses the right fort right away, if, or if, they, if there's like a route divergence anyway between the two. Yeah, no way to know what, what a fort does until you beat it, so that, that, that's nature randomizer for you, so <laughs> flip a coin. Yeah, whatever, whatever fort that I would pick first, just pick the other fort and you're going to be correct, <laughs> so. <laughs> oh man, that waffle. Ooh. They made the same play Mitch, here. I don't they're both, think... They're both in 5 F1. Yeah, this is... You like to see this just because, you know, I mean... It ends up being a pretty significant time loss one direction or the other. This way our race stays close, so... And, of course, it was not that for it, so... Unfortunately, they both chose poorly, but uh, that's okay. 
Even, uh, here, yeah, even worse here, the other fort's significantly easier too, so when you see that, you're like, oh, okay, well. Yeah, it gets another peeling out of it, so, uh, so yeah, it doesn't seem near, near to, you know, the time between first and second, but, uh, still not too bad. What kind of hair brother movement was that on Mitch's side? It sort of danced around <laughs> Uh, the kind where they're executing Order 66. <laughs> so yeah, using his P-Wing here, which makes a lot of sense. Don't want to take a death in the airship, so... Um, Proe did fight the extra hammer bro here, so Mitch extending his lead a little bit. Uh, because Proe probably not getting the item he wanted, but, uh, we'll see. Mitch is kind of running low on inventory items, so we'll see if that comes into play or not. Getting another off-screen wand grab there, um, so another four-second save. Yeah, more yeah, than on that one. low sodium diet, but uh, still really thick. Yeah, just one hit and he's down. Uh, so we get two fours off the bat. Um, Mitch going for the one directly in his path. So, um, probably, probably the right thing to do at the start. Yeah, it's going to be interesting to see if Pro A decides to play both of them or not. Uh, I get the feeling that Mitch will probably skip the one that's below him and uh, hope for the best here. But uh, we'll see. I, it's usually a decent strategy, and yeah, Pro A is just going to play it safe. Um, so yeah, we're going to see if this pays off for one or the other here. Yeah, this is interesting here. Um, looking forward to see you with... Uh... Okay, he's going back for the other fortress. Okay, never mind. So they're, so they're both going to be in the... Yeah, uh, never mind. <laughs> they're both going to be in the same boat here. Mitchell still has lead because he he's already beaten the other fortress. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, using some damage boosting strats here to get through a little quicker as well, so... So no hammers again for World 6. Um, it's looking like that pipe could be pretty useful at this point when you get that first screen and you see no pipes. Uh, yeah, it's usually it a pretty like good sign for that pipe. Going on. <laughs> World 6 hammer bros have missed him, so they're just uh, welcoming, him. Welcome, welcoming him back. And this hammer bro does give a hammer, so... Uh, that's really huge. Um, I expect an actually just a straight up, probably blind hammer maybe, but I don't know. Oh, and he does draw si Okay, he gets a first try. Oh, okay, easy. Mac and cheese, very nice. Pro again with a tail. He's gonna try and get the clip here. Yeah, it'd be nice if he'd let me finish my thought, by the way. I mean, can he just, you know... <laughs> So yeah, this, uh, playing both forts, absolutely the right choice here, being that uh, he was able to just hammer that. There's a decent chance it probably built that bridge, actually, or something. I don't know. It seems to happen a fair amount. There you go. Finally gets the clip there. Um, I wasn't counting on many tries, but uh, we'll just say first try. Yeah, the other ones are practice. Man, that is always a hot foot, and that is absolutely the worst enemy there. <laughs> Not only is it hard to get past, it uh, it also makes the uh, model for the next enemy on the map just skewed, so you do actually have no idea what it is. Yeah, you tend to see that in like eight one, and like uh, if you go if you go actually go inside like seven one or seven six, that tends to happen as well. Pro, uh, oh, Smith's trying. Ooh. Pro try and go for fly there, but uh, doesn't quite work out for him. And uh, I guess the hot foot was drunk today, so he just decided to uh, end his day a little early. Yeah, I mean, well, it's pretty a boss bass on Mitch's side. He does it pretty well, though. Very nice. 
Yeah, probably not the level you wanted to see there, uh, but uh, he does take care of it, so. And the pyramid's on the other side, so neither option terribly good here. Uh, pretty, pretty even choice. And yeah, gonna avoid that star because that's just a troll. Yeah, you got that star, and you have to wait it out because uh, you don't want you don't want to kill have to kill the beetles and reset the whole room there. And oh look, Lemmy's five hits. Now that we don't go on the stage with fire, amazing. Proe have no problem with the pyramid there. Making good work of it. Uh, definitely a lot less stressful than 2-3 at the boss bass. But <laughs> yeah, for sure. Um, pyramid must have been Noah, so I, I, I probably wrong for that one, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah kind of an interesting. Oh yeah, the five hit. Yeah, the the jumbo. Uh, Mitch picking up another hammer. Don't know how useful this is gonna be um, here at this point. I don't think it probably will be at all. The only question is if this is the fort or not. If this is not the fort, then yeah, I mean, I guess technically it would be useful. So we'll see. Yeah, unfortunately, the Lord Eight Fortress. Uh... One of the longer ones, but uh, see if Mitch gets the one cycle again here. Ah, uh, not quite. Just falls just short right there. He has to hit the P switch and he'll open his power up block, gets a star. Maybe I'll get the quick kill here. We'll see. Um, we kind of close, so because he has good Super Mario. Yeah, I just yeah unfortunate there. Uh, when you go for the one cycle, it's kind of the risk you take in this level. Um, you know, trying to keep fire sometimes is a little greedy. So yeah, so Pro can one cycle. He'll definitely save some time, save a bit of time here. We'll see if he gets it. And yeah, that, that fort is the one that builds our bridge, so this, this is another fast war fort here. Yeah, this seed's uh, going by really quick. I mean, 16 minutes um, through five worlds is a pretty blazing pace. And he gets in one cycle. Very nice, bro. Had the fire flower as well, so he definitely gained a bit of time here. So I believe we're down to world seven and I'm trying to think of the other one. Three, I think. It must be free. That's the only way I haven't seen this seed, I believe. Uh, pretty fortunate pipe here. Decent chance that this is the fortress, so needing to uh, get rid of one lock here. Uh, yeah, whenever you have a World 7 where you just take one pipe and go right to a fortress, it's uh, it's pretty good. <laughs> yeah, so World 3, World 3 is the last one before 8, and I believe they both have two hammers, so double hammer can come into play here for both runners. Oh, did they get a, an, another hammer after they used the one in World 6? I know they got one from the bro in 4, but did they get another one on top of that? Oh, you may be right. It's, it's... You can only get one since then. Uh, yeah, we have to try for the hammer somewhere else here. Yeah, they might have to. I don't recall. Have they got any music boxes? They might actually have to play the Piranha Plant too. So potentially they could just roll the one and ten. Yeah. 
and that is the lock, so pretty quick world seven here. Um, you could always have fewer stages, I guess, in world seven, but the thing is, you know, simplified route is uh, just a nice thing to have, I think, when, when you're playing this one, so. Yeah, for sure. So especially if, if it's like World 7 or 8 and you got all the pipes to traverse through, you definitely want to. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> yeah, Mitch getting the H by using the uh, slide speed there. Pretty heads up play. Improvising, and uh, they do have a music box, so. so yeah, Mitch can use it right away. If Pro plays this and it happens to be a hammer, that, that could be huge for free. Yeah, it's like we were talking about earlier. Sometimes you get those World 3 configurations where the first five levels are all levels, and there's not much you can do about it. <laughs> if you got that double hammer, it's uh, a huge advantage. Yeah, those, those are the worst World 3s. So yeah, Ludwig giving Mitch a little bit of trouble there. And Pro A choosing to play it. I think he saw the single hammer, and I think he knows what's left here. So, um, playing with Lady Luck right here. Yeah, let's see what he gets. Ah, it's a P-Wing. Um, unfortunate. Yeah, also worth noting, I don't see, I don't think they have a Bowser item. Or, oh, I guess they did have a flower. I didn't see it. Okay. So, they do have the Bowser item, although Hammer Suit is preferable, and yeah, Double Lock here might have been pretty good, but actually there's a chance that it might have been useless as well, <laughs> well, relatively. Yeah, maybe I'll see a loss on Mitch's side. Um, it, I don't think we've seen many of them so far tonight, so... <laughs> so yeah, there are nine yeah. loss levels mixed into the randomizer, so um... But maybe all completable and they can show up where any number level would, so. Yeah, we saw the uh, vertical swim level. Um, and then we saw the level that goes right to left, I think. Um, with the water at the bottom. I think those were the two in the last scene, maybe. Oh, right. The, the sky one, too, with, with the scrolling stream. Yeah. So yeah, Mitch uh, taking the door there to um, get rid of the boss bass, so heads up play for those of you that don't know that strategy. Get a completely different enemy set on the other side of the door, and uh, potentially could have been worse actually, but uh, thankfully it was not for him. Right, and with the way this, this world for layout is, if it's a 2 fort world free, um, logically both forts will be required here because... There's there's one fort behind the lock right there at the bottom. Yeah, it's the only question is is there another obstacle right that they can't see off screen? So right, pro, pro not gonna go for the door to uh, swap out boss bass here. He's just gonna play onward. He does a star though. Yeah. Some reason. Yeah, using that star to his advantage there, clearing out the trash. And there is and, a lot, uh... so... <laughs> yeah, more than likely, they'll have to be four forwards here to, uh, damn. Yeah, they actually have to, so yeah, we'll see, uh, double four clears. Oof. Uh, Hotfoot getting Mitch there a little bit. The one time a star is what you want, and he gets it. <laughs> Yeah, see you with this chat. Orb. Bro. Interesting he chose to use the frog and not the star. <laughs> that just yeah. tells you how much he values the frog. <laughs> yeah, I think, I think that's the first thing he saw there and just said, okay, that works. Mm-hmm. 
four. Rotating Picks up line. a fire flower. Pretty slick item, especially for Wendy coming up here, and he's probably aware of this. Yeah, of course, the uh, World 4-4, four, four, it's just uh, in combination here. And the World 4 airship, actually just World 4. I don't know if you guys know this, but this is now World 4. And thankfully for Mitch, that is a Fire Flower and the exact item he actually wanted, although he's yeah. uh, not messing with that. Got a heavy windy on Mitch's side. I think it's like a free hit though. He's down there, but gets it done. He's gonna be the first one to board eight here, the great equalizer. Yeah, vanilla with thunder thighs. But Pro is right on his tail, so it could come down to ward eight once again. We will see. Choosing not to do the P-Speed strats here. Um, so Mitch having a little extra advantage in the airship here. But yeah, just really this airship and cutscene advantage between the two. Um, and drawing Fort Knox is the uh, first fort. Uh, kind of interesting here. Be interesting to see what uh, Mitch decides to do after his plays uh, in the last roll. They punished him and you de I definitely know he's aware of it. So... Um, be interesting to see if he makes some different decisions and sometimes that's not the best thing sometimes you um, get the complete opposite of what you just played in the last scene so yeah and as chat po is pointing out this this could be a potential sub 30 for one or both runners here we will have to see we're only 25 minutes in so it's definitely possible yeah um they were firmly on that pace obviously world three took them a little longer but uh because of the double four, but yeah, no, this is a, a blazing seed here. I think they were still in World Six in the last one, so. So Mitch following the breadcrumb, going for that that pipe that just became accessible. Oh, he's he's blocked off out of the bat though on the handbridge, so he's got to go back and play drop the other pipe here. Finds a dark maze, another lock, so uh. Looks like it may have one bridge, possibly. Yeah, it looks like a fairly linear path so far. Um, probably not the fort you want to see, and uh, probably wishing he kept his tail there, unfortunately. But uh, I don't think he'll have too much problem with this one. He's, uh, he's played this stage one or two times in his life. Although he gets the absolute worst combination of enemies here. Because yes. he's going to have to take damage. Yeah. Yes. Oh my goodness. Those those tall uh, ones that spit fire are the worst. They, in that in that section right there, it's it's pretty much it's it's possible to avoid taking damage here. It's incredibly difficult though. So yeah, um, unfortunately for him, if he still kept the Tanuki tail, uh, it would have helped a pretty significant amount. But yeah, the just the way the interval works, there's really no getting past them. <laughs> Yeah, so Pro's gonna be following right here. He'll have a Snooky suit, so maybe I'll make uh, easier work of this fortress here. Yeah, there is one thing we're saying. Yeah, that beginning part's a little tougher for him, but he does make it pass, so um, he is gonna be able to pass here um, relatively unscathed anyway. And we'll see what this block ends up being, and it's another leaf, so. Oh, and 7 2 did break the lock at, at, on the handbridge, so Mitch is following the continuing to follow these breadcrumbs. He's on the handbridge now and is working his way towards those pipes. See if he gets lucky here. Gets a fantastic item here. So loses the frog suit, gets the absolute best item he could here. Um, no gulp, nice. No boss bass. So yeah, um, pretty nice 5 3 setup for him so far. Oh, there he is. Never mind. Okay. I guess he was just being late to the party today. I don't know. Yeah, did, did, was he on the upper path, or upper part at first? Did he... No, he just didn't spawn. Yeah, it was interesting. Oh, that, that's that's rare then. Yeah, 
didn't sh bring the show up on the bottom half like that. So, uh, Freud playing some pipe origami here. <laughs> you hate to see it. Yeah, so now we got Freud Pro also on the hand bridge. He's gonna go back, though. Well, maybe not. Okay, he's gonna, he's gonna yes. follow Mitch here. He's gonna find his way over to Air Force here, which has to be Air Force. So there's that lock in the upper right hand corner of the screen in the dark, right? And neither could get past it. So um, I'm assuming this breaks it and that's gonna be where we need to go one for one way or another. Ah, okay, yeah, that, that makes sense. Cause that's the only that's the only area we haven't checked here, so I'll find out shortly that's the way forward. Now, I don't think Mitch has checked all the areas pro it has, maybe, but uh, I, I, I couldn't remember if he did or not. So this is, yeah, this is where it could become interesting. Oh, and that lock is still there. Wow, okay. Um, wow. Yeah, but I think Mitch has got it here. This is the only pipe left over. Sure enough, okay. Perfect. There it is, no bridges, but we do have a Navy stage to play, and it is 6F1. Yeah, picking up some fire here. I don't recall if he's got a flower or not, so he might choose to keep this one. And the, oh no. Oh, <laughs> oh he gets the clip. Nice clip from Mitch there. You really don't see this too often in Randomizer, much less vanilla. No, yeah, it uh, generally doesn't save too much time just because it, you, it takes so long to clip through there. Um, well, in vanilla, you never do it just because you're always small Mario and you always get the uh, star kill. So, And he does have a flower, so I'm uh, not going to get punished here for taking that damage. Yeah, so Mitch is ready to lose at this point. Um, yeah, it gets the clip on top. Very nice. Uh, th this one is is nice in randomizer because you can you bypass most of the most of the random random uh, rotor disc there. So yeah, get nice good into the, the clip there. Uh, it's gonna go for this clip. Let's see if he, let's see if he gets it here. Nice duck input. Thanks, game. Having a little trouble with it. Come on, Mitch. There he goes. All right. Yeah, um, even if he took damage on Bowser, I think there's enough time between them because this is a minute over a minute long level, especially in Randomizer, um, that uh, I think his lead is significant enough that unless he takes a death here, I think he's got this one, so. Yeah, the, the fire killing Bowser, I'm, I, he's done it many times, you know, barely accomplished with fellow runner. So uh, go ahead and get your GG's in for Mitch Firepower. He's going to finish this game two here, and we are going to a game three. So looking forward to that uh, with the extra time shortly. So yeah, both runners um, getting taken from the rank of the undefeated here and taking their first losses in a race of the entire tournament so good stuff yeah mitch finished the official star of time of 31 minutes and 34 seconds ggs yeah pro unfortunately loses the fire suit so we have to be bowser old-fashioned way here Not quite a sub 30, but uh, 31 is close enough, I would say. Yeah, the uh, the pipes were a little unkind <laughs> in this world eight. It was a little difficult, I think, for them to figure out what was going on. But it, it seemed like I guess there was a lock potentially that the airship unlocked in the upper left hand corner if I had to guess yeah pretty much the only other option right there so yeah <laughs> you get those you get those trolley world eight sometimes but, yeah you get your GG out for Pro 007 he finishes with a time of 3252 GG's 
So don't go away, guys. Welcome back, everybody. It's game three. You wanted it. We wanted it. And here we are. So winner takes all. Loser goes home. What do you think is going to happen, Macobra? Uh, It'll be fireworks, that's for sure, whatever happens. And unfortunately, what we'll send one of these runners home and one will move onwards. So, yeah, I'd hate to see yeah, one go. Um, the tournament. That's the nature of the tournament there. Yeah, someone's got to lose, right? Someone's got to lose and someone's got to win. Um, yeah, really a fantastic set of races thus far. Um, that time, Mitch not taking the early death that kind of plagued him in the first one and also um, didn't have as much trouble with World Eight, so we saw him uh, kind of just keep this little bit of a lead throughout the majority of that uh, race, actually. So the flag's been dropped. Go and get your guesses in. What roar will we see first in this final game three here? I'm going to go with world one because Fred. I'll go with world seven. Let's, let's hope for reverse world order. World seven because Durf? I got it. <laughs> And we're all wrong. Everybody is wrong. Actually, just every single person that guessed is wrong. <laughs> it's World 5. Man, the World 5 again. How about that? And a fort right away as well. Um, very interesting here. Both runners choosing to take the lower route, get the power up this time, so... having some trouble with the blocks there, corner clipping. So Proe with the slight advantage here getting out of the pipe and gonna make quick work of Boom Boom here. Interesting for Mitch to go the bottom route. I would, I would think he went, but he went top regardless. It's, a, it's, it's faster and more, more execution heavy, I guess. Yeah, it's kind of interesting though. You just, I don't know. I, oof, that route, <laughs> it's scary, man. It's really scary. <laughs> True, the, the, the early power doesn't hurt, you know, as long as he isn't a star, of course. Yeah, honestly, if you're small, though, the star isn't too bad there, because usually there's a lot of junk in the bottom, so at least you get free passage. That's the one thing I'll say about it. Yeah, but we have free six here, and obviously we're turned off here. Um, that's another thing we, we didn't mention there. Um, most of the auto scrollers are disabled, like the airships and the normal levels. There are two exceptions though, 5-9, and the last level we dub Atlantis, which is which has a bunch of swimming, as you can probably tell from the name. No, Atlantis swimming? Never. <laughs> when, uh, when I think Atlantis, I think best stage in the game, personally. I don't know about you. Yeah, it's not bad. <laughs> Plenty of seekers to go around. And uh, Mitch getting hit by the final boss of uh, Mario 3. You thought it was Bowser, but it's really the Paragoomba. Yeah, nice flyover for Proe over the over the mass there. Very nice. Uh, Mitch not gonna be able to do that unless uh, there was a leak, there was a tail in, in the uh, power up here. That's a fire flower, okay. Yeah, so he did fight the hammer, bro. Um, is a little bit further behind as a result, but he did get a uh, mushroom there, which does allow him to pick up this fire flower in the airship. So um, ends up kind of working out in his favor there. Uh, we'll see if he can put this to good use, or if the next level is just Fort Knox and he immediately has to use it because randomizer. Princess drops us a peewing and we are world one and uh, that is not the best layout of world one there. Now you really hate to see it. Pro A probably should damage boost here. Oh, I think he thought and then he decided not to and now, oh, this is awkward. <laughs> yeah, he, he might he might try and two cycle this because he does have a tail. Um, now he's going to keep the tail in the team armored here. 
Yeah, so Mitch can save a pretty significant amount of time here getting a two cycle, which I would anticipate he will, uh, barring disaster. Yeah, an easy two cycle on Mitch there. No surprise. Yeah, did not go for the clip there. Um, Pro A not choosing to fly up to the item. That is pretty slow to do when you just have a tail, but. You never know what you're gonna get, I guess. Could have been something useful. Yeah, we have T2 next here. Bro, about to fly fast to the uh, platform there. Had the tail, so you make quick, be quick, uh, quick work to. Butter cross, no biggie. Mitch right behind him though, so has a fire flower though. He's gonna he's gonna try and get past he's trying to go and press onward here. Yeah, no, yeah pretty good item to have. So. Um but Pro has got an even better item for this stage, so um this should allow him to get some P speed here and, and skip the uh, carpet ride. Um, has to kind of go back and forth to get it there, so it'll take him a little longer to just flutter it down, but uh, does get a pretty nice time save there overall. Yeah, very nice for Pro A. And yeah, it's worth noting both runners choosing to forego the fortress because there's really no need to play it. Um, yeah, he got the level there, and it leads right to the end. And uh, being that he doesn't need to break a lock, he is going to grab the item here. And Mitch also following suit in the one six, getting a tail, and uh, probably picking up a mushroom in the meantime. Yeah, no reason not to go for it. Um, where's Prey going? I'm not entirely sure. I think uh, uh, he's confused. Here. Yeah, I think he did. I think he, for some reason, is under the impression he needs to build a bridge. That's the only thing I can think of. So, um, yeah, this is going to be uh, a significant um, advantage for Mitch here, being able to skip this level as it is quite a long level on top of this. So, Yeah, unfortunately, that was a mistake on Proizen. Um... Yeah, so he's definitely gonna feel behind at this point, I'm sure. Yeah, pretty unfortunate there. Um, I'm sure he's aware now, once he saw that lock break, um, that he has made a mistake. So we'll see what kind of decision making uh, comes out of him for the rest of the seed here. And uh, yeah, we'll, we'll go from there. Obviously there's a lot of stuff going on here yet, but uh, um, he's got some work to do. Yeah, not entirely out yet. I, as you can see, um, you know, Mitch is clearing the world as Pro is uh, killing the cooking right now. So, um, yeah, it's still relatively close. Yeah, just kind of swap back and forth. That game three pressure, man, you know, it, it gets to you sometimes. Yeah, it's still early. Um, still plenty of time to catch up. But yeah, he had a lead, so um, he ends up not being too terribly far behind. He's going to be about the length of his fortress behind, maybe a little less. Yeah, I'm waiting for one of the runners um, <laughs> to uh, actually use the frog on the wind here and uh, complete the score faster. <laughs> I'm um, sorry, what are you talking about? What, what item like, is that? I've like, never heard of that like item. Frog suit on the sport, and yeah, they didn't know it was, it was a sport, but they just used it on a whim. <laughs> oh yeah, I, I don't I don't know what that item is. I've never heard of it. Oh, the frog suit is green, and you sort of hop instead of uh, run. <laughs> oh yeah, that 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 does not sound familiar, and that sounds awful. <laughs> 
<laughs> so yeah, the uh, the old two one giving Mitch a little bit of trouble here. Also in its vanilla spot, should we point out that uh, two one just uh, being the ultimate Fred here. Ooh, Mitch getting the H jump. You don't see that terribly often. Yeah, very nice. He's small. He's small at this point. He's got. He's got to be careful. He deals with the deals with the blooper though. So that's good. Yeah, the big brain play there to uh, ooh, bring the uh, the white block in. Uh, man, that stage was out for blood for both runners. Yeah, now we have one four on Mitch's side. Uh, that our score turned off. He has queuing though, so no trouble getting past all that. And you know, just a, a doe tip right at the end that almost made him take damage. Just, just uh, Mario three things. Ooh, nice pipe. We love to see it, honestly. Yeah, right there at the castle. Mitch is going to actually go for a hammer brother here. Uh, that's, that's kind of unlike him, but it is still early. Ah, uh, it's the start of it, though. Yeah, choosing to build some inventory here. Um, hoping probably for a hammer, I would imagine. He wants another, or he wants a hammer for World 6. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if Pearl makes the same play here since that Burl is right. Well, now he's going to skip it. Interesting. Yeah, I have to imagine he feels like he's behind playing the extra level. So um, we're probably going to see him make uh, maybe some uncharacteristic decisions here. Yeah, he's definitely gained some ground there because uh, he missed your play and unfortunately got a star out of it. So uh, not the best item. So he's definitely gained some ground, even though he still feels he's probably behind here. Yeah, definitely. And he had a little bit of a cleaner world, too, as well. He had a lot less trouble with uh, 2 1, so um, definitely has caught up uh, a pretty significant amount here. Mitch, seeing the fort, he's got, he's got his tail, though, so that's, that's good. Um, going to distance himself, yeah, distance it's... himself in curly a bit. Yeah, this is going to be a significant advantage for him with this tail. It's going to save probably 10 to 15 seconds or somewhere in there. Not having to wait out the P-Switch, so it's going to be pretty happy here. Oh, I think Pro is going to end up taking a death here to uh, see if he has a P-Wing or a Tail instead. Yeah, he should have a P-Wing. Um, he hasn't used any inventory as far as I know, and they both had some P-Wings, so yep, sure enough. Yeah, so, um, so it does save a little bit of time, not, not a whole lot, but uh, for sure it definitely does make a difference. Yeah, it definitely saved him a few seconds, I think. And Mitch drawing 5-3 here, which is just not a stage you want to see, although um, it looks like a very similar 5-3 as the last seed. I mean, are these seeds even randomized? I don't... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it gets a star, though, so that's good for early on. And Baltas going to stay on top this time, more than likely, so... It should be good. Here yeah, right now. <laughs> apparently, you know, he, he uh, scrolled the screen at the speed that pleases the bass, so. Yeah, Pro is checking his pipes here to see uh, what the story is. So yeah, he's found the same yeah. pipes now. So we got 5-3 between the two runners here, and uh, both in pretty equal situations, so yeah. Deciding to use the screen scroll to his advantage there, heads up play, saving a pipe transition. Hey, look oh, what the man. other one is. Another, another Fred. Nice stuff. Although not in their vanilla locations, at least. At least there was a little bit of randomization. Yeah, fortunately, fortunately Mitch does have a tail this time, so he's doing the quick work with these, uh, on the plants. I had to wait a cycle for the Thwomp, though. That's okay. Yeah, that Thwomp's uh, 
kind of evil sometimes. Yep, is able to also stay big here, um, which is always nice when you're uh, able to do that. Damage boosting with the tail is ideal as well because the transformation time is shorter than the others. Uh, probably deciding to play this Piranha Plant, which is interesting, so... Um, skipping the bro in World 2, but then gonna get the item here. And uh, if he rolls the, the 2 and 10, he could get something pretty good. Ooh, and he does! That could come into play if, if we see something like 7-5 or who knows. Yeah, unfortunately he gets it after he already crossed 5-3, so you hate to see it. Yeah, it's a frozen 7-2 now. Um, the lead has Wyden for Mitch, but with that cloud, I mean, that, that couldn't make a difference here. We'll just have to see here. Yeah, we'd actually see a lead swap at this point if uh, if this level or if there was an Atlantis that came up here. Um, getting seven eight in its vanilla location as well. I mean, we've we've got some questionable Freds this seed. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, I was about to ask if that was in the same position as vanilla. But apparently, it is. Oh man, <laughs> just uh, getting the business from the piranha plants right now. <laughs> I tend to stay with blocks, and unfortunately, it's just a bunch of one ups, so not too helpful. Uh, what was that glitch? He like clipped upward in the pipe. I don't understand. I don't understand Mario 3, it's a video game. Yeah, See, I believe it or not, um, having a tail in 3 1 here actually saves you time, so Pro A gonna be able to save a little bit of time on this stage, interestingly enough. Yeah, Mitch is going to play this other Prana stage here. Let's see what he gets. Just a music box. Hmm. Would have been useful if he had it before the stage. I think Pro's to be on using that cloud. So it's Sort of hesitated for a bit, but he's, he's still gonna hold on to it. And Mitch oh, is oh, oh. Ooh, that bass was coming. <laughs> and also getting the business from the piranha plants. And he's also gonna be really sad about this block. <laughs> yeah, if you see the one ups, you don't have to show up there. Meanwhile, Mitch taking care of Ludwig, which was also vanilla, by the way. I believe it was three hits with Quake, so... I mean... Can we... Just... Determine this isn't randomized yet? Is that a thing? Yeah, so Pro didn't use a star here, he's just gonna play this out like normal. We have World 6 next on Mitch's, Mitch's screen. We got T-Pipes right away to check, check here. Now if they link up, then hair will be useful here. Okay, so it looks like the, the pipe I am the block, or the uh, dock, does come near the end of the level here. Or the end of the world, it seems. No, I think I there were three pipes on the opening screen. Uh, oh, so yeah, right. this is actually the best pipe. Yep, so um, yeah, I'm gonna allow them to skip a few stages here, it looks like, because I didn't see any other fortresses unless there's one hiding in that uh, vanilla pipe location. Then uh, yeah, they should be the only two. Oh, Mitch using a hammer. Just get that one level. Actually, was there a lock there too? Um, no, no, there's there's a lock after the fortresses, but yeah, no. Um, yeah, okay, I think so that was a good play by him. Okay, so it was just one level he skips. Oh, oh my goodness, so, my heart, why? Yeah, can you can get close calls here for Mitch, but uh, he, he makes it free all right. Yeah, the uh, one of the rules of this fortress is you just cannot slow down there. Um, I found that if you just jump at the end of that, if you do get the dry bones, you always land on them and you don't have to worry about the rotor disc. So I just, yeah, that's what I do there anyway. 
Uh, Mitch getting a great item here and uh, wow taking that absolutely perfect to avoid the dry bones There is a strat you can do to despawn him, but uh, Mitch does not care. He is an absolute madman So bro picks up the same hammer here. He's gonna play the other bro and see what he gets That's a P-Wing. Let's see if he uses his hammer and makes the same play as Mitch here. He's gonna try the 6-1 uh, tile thinking about it. He's gonna hammer. Yeah, that's the right choice for sure. Um, and Mitch drawing 7-2, which is normally a pain, but he does have a tail here, which is a fantastic item for this. Yeah, being able to flutter across the, the no-block bridge is very, very nice. Don't have to worry about building it and going under and over, back around again. Oh yeah, and Chad also pointing out that was two World 6 forwards in World 6. Hmm. Really makes yeah, you think. I, the way. I mean, not, nah, not, not with this seed. <laughs> Ooh, Proe also avoiding... That's actually really hard to do to avoid that guy. I, I just want to point that out. Um, he generally gets there before you do. You know, Mitch clears out World 5 here. 20 minutes in, and uh... So yeah, it seems, it seems, about, pretty, it seems about average for a bracket seed here. Yeah, they're going at... Fairly average clip for sure. Right Pro on that there like four Pro's minutes smile. world. Um, what did Mitch play again? Mitch played something that wasn't super short. Uh, seven two, two yeah. not super short. Yeah. So, I mean, I think that's a pretty good cloud usage at the end of the day. Yeah, I reckon, I reckon Pro is thinking that to, you know, just limited, limited uses like, over for the cloud, so you want to make use of it. Yeah, that's a good point. You're not guaranteed to be able to use it in World 4 here, so definitely um, knows what worlds are left, so I'd imagine uh, making that decision as a result. Yeah, but it looks like we got a long World 4 ahead of us here, so... Uh... Mitch gonna play the hammer, bro. Get, gets a peeling out of it. Yeah, world four unkind tonight. I mean, I think the other are well. One of the seeds was a, a free world four, but yeah, the first one too. I think was a long one, if I recall. Yeah, and free free four here, making use of his melt strats. Very nice. And the door shall be three. Three shall be the number of the door that he just passed and didn't enter and made everybody sad. <laughs> yeah, but fortunately this this stage of the game it <laughs> determines taking chances. Pro knows he's behind with that world one with that world one uh, stake, so he's definitely gotta pull all stops out here. Makes pretty quick work of world uh, four here. Did he have a cloud or something? Oh, and gets the clip. That that wall just actually wanted Mario to clip through it because he just like jumped out and the wall was like, yes. <laughs> Very nice clip from Mitch there. Um, it actually saves time on randomizer, unlike in vanilla, since there's no auto scroll, obviously. Yep, skipping those flamethrowers. Pretty good uh, time save there. So yeah, runners must have gotten a cloud from the uh, last world. So you put in good work here, skipping whatever that level is, going right to the pipe and right to the end of the world so we got about an airship between the two of them going into the final world here which is world three uh neither runner having a double hammer so a yeah, nice play from pro using the p-wing on, on this world six airship here of course he didn't know it was world six so 
though. Very nice. Very nicely done. He'll, he'll gain a little gallon edge here, for sure. And getting the off-screen grab, so even more time here. So uh, definitely closing the gap here. Hey, this would be just absolutely even uh, had he not played the fort in that first world. So, um, yeah, it really has picked it up since that point and played extremely well. And we see the first pipe there is the pipe. Um, so, interestingly enough, double hammer would have been insane for World 3. <laughs> absolutely. Um, need to run here, unfortunately. He utilized double hammer to check that fort out for that. So, um... Got to uh, play this uh, two time here, which is uh, one two, I believe. Yeah, really uh, well executed six eight. Uh, Mitch has really done that level extremely well thus far um, in this uh, matchup here. Oh, that must have been 6 8 because I, I see a bunch of H's in the chat. <laughs> yeah, 6 8. Yep. Yep. Yeah, I was able to get P speed there uh, using this Fire Flower to his advantage. So, um, yeah, and all the uh, all three races, this level actually showing up, and I think he got P speed in all of them. So, ooh, Pro A using the Paragoomba. That's right. Y'all didn't know about the backboard, did you? Yeah, sometimes the enemies in the right spot, they can they can help you out, you know. <laughs> so pro pro going backwards here. Using use the box and going to that fort there. Where's that? So yeah, it is the it. other fortress here that is required, so um Mitch gonna use the mushroom. Remembering the forts that have been played. Very important. Um, normally you would P-Wing forts, but, um, I think all the forts where P-Wing is useful have already been played, so, um, it's really good to take mental note of that, and it seems like he probably has, uh, just based on that decision alone. Yeah, now Pro could have gambled here and went for the same fort that Mitch is in now, and could have been a much, much tighter race at that point. Well, I guess, I guess the way it was, the map's designed, it wouldn't be possible, but... Yeah, Pro's gonna check in to see the bad news here. You know, Mitch is going to uh, be relieved that he can get to the castle now. Oh, just kidding. It was 3 4 at World 3, and you just didn't see it. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be evil. <laughs> evil, and it happens. Pro A picking up a cloud, so potentially useful um, in World 8. I don't know if Mitch fought that hammer, bro, actually. Yeah, it's, it's rare, but it can come in handy, and if, if they're wondering too, is in their way. So yeah, chat confirming he did not, so um, that could be very interesting. Uh, particularly if one, either 8-1 or 8-2 is uh, an evil stage, so 8-4, um, you can skip a 2, but that's even rarer that you get that opportunity unless it's on the bowser screen right and it's just like you have a free path but yeah outside of that yeah so go and get your guesses in chat how many bridges will it take to get to the final bowser here this game three zero one two or three Getting a hammer suit there, so we we're gonna see our first uh, hammer suit attempt on Bowser, and there's a hand right away. Oh boy! Yeah, Mitch is gonna take the death. Um, gonna try and dodge the hand stage. Yeah, and should it, go right to the pipe. Oh, oh, see, this is why he should have gone to the pipe. Um, he's gonna have to play this now, um, unless he wants to go back and cross the hand. So. Right. Fortunately, he is mostly vanilla, so he's he's comfortable with it, you know. Yeah, I'm sure I'm sure Pro will save his spot in the pipe first before he checks that. So yeah, um, he has a nice little time save here at the beginning of this world uh, by you know making the correct choice. They're going in the pipe, but yeah, 
just with the configuration here, you see this configuration, you definitely check both of those to see if they're fortresses. It, you're just like, you're playing with fire, not uh, going for fortresses on the, the main screen when there's only one pipe, because you never have any reason to come back here otherwise. Uh, Pro Oski and Grad is going to take a death here. See if he gets for his second attempt here. Very nice. Yep, he's going to save spot. And see where he goes first. He's going to play Navy stage because he knows that's the fort. We'll see if he peeks at the uh, tank stage and see if that, see what that is. So we just found the Air Force, which is appropriately the Air Force stage. <laughs> I mean, would you have it any other way for this seed, honestly? <laughs> not in this seed, not in this game three match here. Although I don't recall the, uh, when, uh, the, the tank changed to, uh, 4-4, but here we are. So yeah, gonna take the death there on purpose in order to avoid playing that stage, so it's a little bit of a time save here on Mitch, but Mitch has still got that one fortress lead here, but the gap is closing a bit. Yeah, and it turns out that broke, they did break the lock to the vanilla um, pipe there, and okay, goes to lower, lower left of the dark maze. He's gonna play his tank stage, and hey, what do you know, it's super tank. <laughs> <laughs> Would you have it any other way? <laughs> Couldn't have said it better, man. So yeah, gonna check the uh, upper left section of the dark here. I'd imagine there's either eight fort or a pipe there. I mean, there could be a hand too, but um, oh man. Actually, that could be big. Uh, oh, there's another lock. Okay. Huh. Yeah, the lock broke on the lower left right there, so uh, not not too useful. I'm just going to try the lower right pipe over here now. He finds a way to the hand bridge. Gets turned around. Gets turned that pipe. It's one of these pipes based on what and there we've it seen is. There's a far. hand in the way. There though. it is. Save oh boy. two. What's he gonna do here? Yeah, he's gonna try and take a death here. Takes a death. Let's um, see if he can see if he can pass his hand. Oh, he gets past it. That he's is so big. Oh play. man. That oh that hand could have just absolutely turned the race um that is an awful hand stage to get because i don't know if you could tell it took him a very long time to uh be able to take a death and uh we do see another world eight fort here in world eight but it is the uh the eight fort yeah, and unfortunately pro is playing a necessary fort here his, his way is open he does, he does not know it though so yeah mitch's race to lose at this point okay, let's see if he gets first try clip very nice And yeah, from this point, I, I I can't I can't see a way he loses this one. Uh, hi Bowser. And by Bowser. Bowser. Get your GGs. Get your GGs out, ladies and gentlemen. From Mitch Firepower, he's gonna move on to the semifinals here in this randomizer tournament. Unfortunately, we'll be saying goodbye to Pro Double Seven, but what a good series of matches here. Very well fought series for sure. And uh, Yo. Pro ain't gonna be joining soon in the peach room here. Meanwhile, I think I just heard me. What's up, guys? Party. Oh, not a whole lot. Did you like the uh, the sheer amount of Freds in that last seed? Uh, what does that mean? Uh, the, uh, vanilla, like, forts in vanilla, in the vanilla world, and then uh, the, oh, like, yeah, vanilla yeah, airship air force, and the tank air, in the air force. <laughs> Dude, tank two times in the last two seeds, the air force, like, icon was the air force. I was like, what? 
<laughs> yeah, man, that was crazy. I heard, um, I heard I lost the first race due to pretty much like the World 8 gamble I made by, um, doing two forts. There was three there and I did two and I was like, come on, man, they're like, let's go, gamble this, you know, and then... Yeah. Yep, you chose the wrong one, unfortunately, and, right. um... I, yeah, that's that was I I kind of figured you must have felt like maybe you were behind. Uh, you did take the early death, I know. Um, and uh, I don't think the seed was too terribly difficult in terms of what you played. So maybe, or maybe you just felt like gambling. I don't know. <laughs>